Hi everyone, so the next question is From the footage we have already seen, Aiden seems much less confident and more nervous than Crane. Will the game's plot focus on his growth as a person, the same way the first game focused a lot on Crane and his changing motives? So the answer is yes, absolutely. This is what great stories are about, right? So Aiden is a defined character when, when the game starts and he has his own motives and he has his own uh, like uh, mood and um, characteristics and all of those th things impact how he behaves at the start of the game. But he's also a character that is searching for identity and is also searching for a discovery for a secret from his past which of course I cannot spoil to you at this point because I would like you to discover this in game. Um, but the thing is that as the game progresses, the character arc builds and you have impact over the character arc. And actually by your decisions, you will be able to kind of change or decide what item you will have at the end of the whole story, at the end of the whole experience. So depending on your choices, Aiden can be a little bit more selfish or a little bit more focused on the collective and the needs of others. And I think this is the most important uh, thing that you will decide regarding the character. Another question, and this one is about GRE. So the question is, will the GRE make a return or at least be a player in what led up to the events in Dying Light 2? I understand that DL2 is set far in the future from DL1, but I find it a bit difficult to imagine how an organization with enough money and power to fly in drops and antis in daily could disappear if the virus wasn't wiped out. The GRE is such an enormous organization. They left uh, very many traces in the map. So yes, this organization was very wealthy, very powerful. So imagine what can you find when looking for those traces? So yes, GRE is making a return in Dying Light 2 and it will play a very important part in the overall world building of the game. So you will see plenty of uh, bits and pieces and collectibles and notes and references to what happened to GRE and uh, basically how it, connect, what, how it connects and what role it plays in the events between uh, Dying Light 1 and Dying Light 2. Another thing is that you will also encounter a lot of GRE related stuff in the game. And actually there will be even open world activities built around you discovering and exploring abandoned GRE labs and quarantine areas. So if you are really interested in the backstory of GRE, you will have a lot of places where you will be able to learn it. The next question is about romance. So the question is, I don't really play games with romance in them, but uh, in the first Dying Light game, Jade and Crane had um, somewhat of a relationship, romantic relationship going on. So can we expect to see something along the same lines for Dying Light 2? So for sure, you will experience a lot of very strong, very complex relations between people, between the main character and the NPCs, between the NPCs themselves, and of course, there will be quite a few very strong female characters. Uh, but we don't have uh, romance options like in Bioware games, for example, because this was never our goal. Okay, so the next one is the heavy one. And we have been asked this basically since we announced the game. So the question is, which ending of the following is canonical? So it's still a little bit too early to say it all to you guys, but um, let me just tell you that the events in Dying Light, Light 2 and the events that have led up to Dying Light 2 are very strongly connected to what happened in the first game. So when you play Dying Light 2, you will surely discover the answer to this big question. The story of Dying Light 2 takes place several years after the story of Dying Light 1. Kyle Crane was such an important person in all the events that happened in Dying Light 1, so he must have left at least an impact of what will happen in Dying Light 2.
so this one is actually very interesting so please listen closely will it be possible to recreate the technology and the government or perhaps people will be doomed to live in the modern dark ages for a long time so the question is straight and simple we don't want to give you an option to rebuild the government and technology and community as we know it today why because to be honest we thought that would actually be quite boring we know that stuff there's no point in rebuilding this what is more interesting to us is actually present our own vision of what the future could be after an apocalypse like this so yes you will stay in the modern dark ages we created but as has been said uh, quite a few times in this AMA, you will be able to shape the future by your decisions. So you will be able to decide what kind of buildings, what kind of structures, what kind of community will the place be after you finish the game. There goes another one, and this is another one that we have been asked since the first E3 when we announced the game. So the question is, Will some characters from DL1 be returning in this game too? Or, and if so, then can you name a few? Or maybe it's confidential. So Dying Light 2 takes place in a completely different place and quite a lot of years after the events of the first one. So for this reason, you will not encounter any returning characters from the first game. But of course, there will be quite a lot of references to what happened in the first game and also some of the characters. So please keep a close eye on what, what you will be able to find and discover in the game. Yulia, could you tell us, will there be more open world events such as the airdrops from the first game? Yes, there will be a lot more open world events in Dying Light 2. Not only we will have the living world with encounters all over, but also you will be able to explore new locations such as GRE quarantine or dark places. Oh, this is very, very important. It's about the factions in the game. So the question is, what can you say about the main factions in Dying Light 2? How do these two groups affect the entire city? So yes, there are two main factions in the Dying Light 2 world and it's up to you to decide which one of those you want to side with. Uh, so um, the thing about them is that their strategy to survival differs. So first of all, there are the peacekeepers and these are the strong military types. So they, they, they focus mostly on combat. They want to kill all of the infected that are out there. So they build uh, powerful weapons, they build powerful traps and they um, work kind of like this military regime. The other faction is survivors and they want to adapt, they just want to survive. So they adapt to the environment, building their communities, uh, planting fields uh, and also investing and focusing on traversal. They don't fight that much. They just want to be able to travel the city easily and escape any threats. So if you side with them, you will be start seeing more and more of their, of their um, traversal helpers and you will be able to use that as well. Of course, aside from the peacekeepers and the survivors, there are other groups in the city. The next important one is the renegades, and they are basically the bad guys. So you will face them and you will have to make some decisions how you want to deal with them. And then there are also smaller groups which are used mostly in side quests or as like additional background characters for the main quests colorful people, colorful groups with uh, their own ideas, agendas that you will be able to discover while you'll be playing Dying Light 2. There goes another question and it says, will I be able to side with no factions and be an enemy to all? Uh, so you have to understand that our world is extremely brutal, extremely primal and it's full of threats and conflicts. So if you have no allies, you basically die very quickly. And we don't want you to die very quickly. And we also want you to make a decision. We also want you to make a statement. So a lone wolf option is not available. You will have to decide if you want to play with those guys or the other ones. Mm -hmm. 